not specifically Taiwan and China, but the South China Sea is going to be in some trouble. 2025 is also going to be an inflection point. But I can tell you that 2025, based on astrological cycles, is not a very great year. And 2028 to 2032 is a very dangerous period for the world in general. I tend to focus generally on society itself and what may happen to the people of the world. Sometimes I do predict the markets, but that's not my primary focus. 十八岁的印度神童振兴预言家阿南德近期说要来台参加亚洲区块链高峰会公开演讲，而日前股市暴跌。关于台积电走向，阿南德预测。I think 2025 is a bit difficult. Uh, last time I had talked about it in the media. I just told them that it it doesn't look too great for the next two years approximately because every business goes through ups and downs. And TSMC has been at the forefront of digital revolution around the world. So definitely, everything that goes up has to face some difficulties. This year and next year might be a little bit difficult, especially 2025. So yeah, need to be careful, but this is in no way a financial advice of any kind. This time, did you have predicted? This time, I just mentioned that 2024 is going to be a difficult year for the economy, but I hadn't specifically gone into the markets as such because that requires research and I thought I'll just give it a break. between Taiwan and China. How serious will this go? Will we have a war? Not specifically Taiwan and China, but the South China Sea is going to be in some trouble. 2025 is also going to be an inflection point. But I can tell you that 2025, based on astrological cycles, is not a very great year. And 2028 to 2032 is a dangerous period for the world in general.